Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in for my dearest Libras. We're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. Um, if these messages resonate with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards that I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all of that info is down below. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Libras. And happy birthday to my Libras out there. I hope you guys are enjoying and getting through this Mercury retrograde without any problems. Oof. Okay, overall energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is Sagittarius energy, or um, you could have this in your chart, or you could be dealing with one. Um, this tells me that this is a destined connection, or there's some sort of divine intervention taking place. Um, it's very good news because it's growth and expansion. Oh, wow. So your person, they're, uh, what they're thinking or feeling, the world. Okay, so a brilliant success, completing a cycle. Look at this, two really powerful cards. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, or a Taurus here as well. Um, but absolutely, it's like everything's coming full circle here. Somebody's feeling really good. They've closed out a difficult cycle. They've freed themselves, ready to move forward. And they're viewing you, Libra, as the Eight of Wands in reverse. So I don't know if you uh, are not talking to this person or you have sort of pushed them away. I am kind of getting that some of you, this person may have been in another connection um, and you may have pushed them away and you may not even know this, but it's like they're freeing themselves up. They want to come towards you, um, whatever distance there may be between you guys. Um, they want to close that gap. Now, for some of you, it's a new person, um, and they're just, they're full on, they're ready. And they're seeing you as a little bit closed off, a little bit defensive. Um, maybe you're not communicating with this person. Maybe they just kind of watch you or they see you somewhere like at work, at the coffee shop. Um, so we'll dig a little deeper there. What you don't see coming, the Page of Swords. Yeah, this person's definitely spying on you. So it could be a secret admirer here, Libra, or it could be somebody that's closed out a difficult cycle. They might have been awarded some type of money. Um, you know, I, I for my weekend reading on TikTok, it actually, they're showing me that energy. Like it's going to be some sort of unexpected decision that was made or maybe they you know they hit a savings goal or they were awarded some type of money where they're going to invite you out or you know ask you you know for a weekend away or fly you out somewhere it feels luxurious here with these two cards coming out and the overall overall outcome energy six of cups in reverse so for some of you it is a past person um, but for others of you libra this may be a new person okay and they're just sort of watching and they're waiting they're checking you out because for some reason you're not talking to them or you're not noticing them or recognizing them and i feel like a lot of you have been through something really tough um, you're still kind of focused on what you've lost you still might be healing um, from a breakup a separation or some sort of loss um, so spirit's telling you, you know, this person, they're ready. They, they feel like they've got what it takes to approach you, but they're, they, I feel like your energy is very closed off to this person. So the overall energy chariot card, this could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Um, but this person, they're coming in fast. And like I said, I don't think you're going to expect this. Um, and if you have TikTok, do check out my weekend reading for October 8th through 10th because the cards are different, but the message is nearly the same here. Okay, like unexpected, <laughs> you know, unexpected breakthrough decision, somebody wanting to take you on a date. Um, this could potentially be something that gets you out of like a funk. Um, you're not going to be expecting this invitation, this communication, or this person might even be showing up at your job or at your home. I don't get stalker vibes. I feel like this person's very happy, although we do see here that they're definitely spying on you. Um, maybe trying to figure out if you're ready, if you're dating, if you're single, if you're seeing anybody else. All right, so let's see. What is this Wheel of Fortune here? So the High Priestess. So some of you, you're dealing with a Pisces, maybe a Cancer. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who is either you're not talking to, if it's a past person, or they're just watching. 
they're watching, they're trusting their intuition, but they're sort of in the background trying to see what's up with you. Lover's card. Some of you guys, it's Gemini. This person, this person has got it bad for you, Libra. Oh my goodness. This person's like wildly, insanely attracted to you. But I feel like either you're sort of closed off to them or closed off to dating right now. They're in the energy of the world. They've just completed something. They're happy. They want to celebrate. For some of you, they did get a divorce, okay? You may or may not know this. Like I said, for some of you, you might have been dealing with this person. If they were dealing with somebody else, you cut them off. Um, you said, you know what, like, you know, go do you. You know, I don't want to be a part of a third-party situation. Okay, that's for some of you. For others of you, this person, they have just come out of a very difficult relationship or they've just sort of healed or they've been awarded some sort of money and they want to ask you out on a date. Libra, they have got eyes for you and you alone. Um, but there was something that they needed to take care of. And like I said, I'm going to repeat myself. For some of you, this is somebody who's left a connection to be with you. And for others, they're just ready to date and they've got their eyes on you, Libra. So they're seeing you as their perfect match, as a soulmate. And um, yeah, but I, you know, this is what I'm getting. Like they know that you're not going to be expecting this. I don't know if Libra, you guys, I feel like they're just trying to figure out if you're single or if you're open to talking to them, to dating them, but they see you like, you know, spinning a lot of plates here with this two of pentacles. I mean, you may have a decision. Maybe you're dealing with somebody else, but they're coming in. They're surprising you. And this person, they've got something big planned. I don't know if it's like a big romantic dinner. Um, I don't know if it's giving you some sort of gift. I don't know if it's showing up at your house. I don't know if this is just them finally stopping and talking to you. Um, but they're, they've definitely been thinking about this. So we get the Six of Cups. So this is strong soulmate energy. This is maybe somebody from your past, but it's somebody who might also be really crushing on you, Libra. This is a nice reading, you guys. Um, and the Hermit card, they could be a Virgo. They've been in the shadows, but they're going to come out and either tell you how they feel, that they've been in love with you this whole time, um, or, you know, that they, you know, that they're just wildly attracted to you and they want, they have this sort of like fancy date planned. It might not even be a fancy date. It just feels like they've put a lot of thought and effort into it. All right. But Libras, some of you guys, you're still healing from another relationship or you're not really trusting this person because you have a history with them. So the queen of swords in reverse. So we do have the king and the queen of swords. So you guys could be exes, um, but it could also be Libra that you're not sure that you can trust this. I don't know if it seems too good to be true, or I feel like your heart chakra is really guarded or needs, you need to do some healing. So just be straight up with this person. Um, I feel like they're the type of person that would wait for you. Yeah, there's that seven of wands. They, You're definitely guarded and it's really up to you, Libra, to see if you're ready for this. Um, but this person, they see you as the best of the best, um, regardless. They absolutely, they want a shot with you or maybe for some of you, a second chance. Knight of Swords in reverse for a lot of you, you know, it could be somebody that you have children with, that you've had a past with. Um, but I'm also seeing that this person there's all this swords energy going on in the reverse. And it tells me that either you're not communicating or they're still trying to figure out what's going on with you. If you're single, if you're available. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more information about this person, about this situation. single parent. So it could be you. It could be them. I definitely get that. Loves to stay in. All right. So I do get this, you know, high priestess, this hermit energy. Um, to me, this is, you know, this is somebody who's, you know, maybe we've got a pair of home bodies here. Okay. Married. All right. Somebody here, I feel like they were married. Um, and when you least expect it. Yep. And I feel like they're planning some sort of surprise for you. Now it's possible. You guys know what I've said. Some of you guys that you knew this person was in another connection. Um, and uh, I feel like if that's the case, if you're not talking to this person, if you left this person behind, that connection has ended. They've gotten a divorce. They've, you know, it's like that. It's like, cause at the bottom of the deck here, we get responsible. This person did what they had to do to come towards you. Okay. For some of you, it's a marriage. Maybe it was a job contract. It could be anything. Um, but I also feel that a lot of you guys, um, with this married card, you could have been, you could have been married to this person. They were previously married or, 
this is a connection that can really stand the test of time here. Let's see what else. Karmic lesson. And you're holding my heart. Yeah, so for some of you, they had to close out a karmic situation. <clears throat> Another relationship. For a lot of you, this can be a reconciliation. All right, in about one week. So when you least expect it, but I'm filling you in, it might happen about in a week. And it's about really sussing out whether or not you're ready for commitment. Some of my Libras, you may turn this person down, either because you're just not ready to date or because of the history that you share with this person. Okay. Okay, so it could be somebody that, you know, I, I feel though that if you do turn this person down, um, I feel like they're still going to sort of stick around and see if you guys can be friends. And this is the romance of a lifetime. This person's coming in to express their love. You're not going to see this coming, all right? And for some of you guys, this there's a lot of potential here. But I feel like you might be the one that's putting on the brakes, Libra, okay? And let's pull one final card, one final message for my Libras. Trusting heaven, you are safe and angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Wow. All right, Libra. So yeah, message coming through here really loud and clear. You know, I, a lot of you guys, this person deserves a shot. I mean, we see that there with true love. Um, you know, if you don't, if you're not ready, if they're moving too quickly or you're not quite ready, um, you know, take the time to get to know this person. Um, I feel like you really shouldn't write this person off right away. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love and light. Take care.